looks like it's kicking in live. Publishing your YouTube broadcast. So, streaming live, YouTube, Facebook, same time. Uh, a few things to talk about, some juices and things like that. Uh, vet mail that's come in. But here we go. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome to it. It's another edition of the Triple T, the Tasty Teardown Tuesdays, where we tear down a device, we taste a juice, and we just have a general chat. Chat, a talk. Triple T, Tasty Teardown Tuesdays. There's three of them. So, what are we doing tonight? Tonight, um, I'll, I'll give you a brief little interlude. Replace pin. Ta-da! Juice Monkey and White Collar Slam Juice Co. Uh, we're going to wick up some RDAs and have a taste. Look, I'm like so clever. I've got like the switchy switchy thing happening. Uh, comment section below there, YouTube and Facebook, if you guys want to say hello. I see everything's kind of a bit slow. Power out outage here in uh, Westville today. Great thing. 12 minutes past 8 this morning. Boom, power gone until like 2 o'clock this afternoon. Nearly had a freak out. What's up, Neil? I see you here in the Facebooks. Uh, I haven't got the YouTube open because I don't. Uh, Gary the Gun, what's happening? I will read it off as it comes up in the middle of the menu here. Where's the chat box? There's a chat box. Why is everything not coming up in the chat box? Gosh darn it, chat box. There we go. Oh, it takes a little while because I have to move the chat box up and down. So we'll get the last few comments, the latest comments as they come in. Cool. Uh, Anayath, what's happening? Uh, Lesosa's in the house. El Marie's in the house. Matthew Allen, what's happening? Brew. Uh, Charles Johnson. Swepo. Yankee Doodah, what's happening? How are we doing? Uh, um, yeah, no, no uh, visitor tonight. I thought I would just take an opportunity just to say hello to everyone. I didn't read the comments last week. I felt really bad about it, but Eric is one of my like my little vape heroes. He, he's one of those guys that just stood out to me in the vaping world. I did change the setting on the camera. And we should be getting a sharper image. So silly. So silly. Change the, change the thing. So I'm going to be jumping into the, the comments a lot tonight. So if you guys have anything to say, let's have a chat. I've got some vape mail to show you. Um, it's beer in the beard time. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. That's pretty cool. Beer in the beard. Oh, speaking of in the beard, I have a, I have another Instagram channel. We have, as of a week ago, we have another bearded underscore Vikings underscore vapes underscore HQ. That's actually our store, the physical store. That's the Instagram account for that. Uh, Neil will be popping it up on Facebook and Max will be popping it up into the YouTubes for us there in the comment sections. Um, and then I want to, I'll talk about it, another little thing a little bit later. Um, also, pretty cool. Should be happening this week. I think it's going to be fun. I think I'm going to hurt a lot. <laughs> uh, Alex, what's happening, Mr. Klopper? Sean Wilson. Hey, Brent. What's up, dude? How you doing? All right. I'm going to flick this thing over. Um... Zoom has an update and OBS has an update. So we've, we can do cool, cool features like just boom, boom. And I'm actually using my Samsung S20 Ultra as my camera phone tonight. So I don't know what the quality is going to be like because I, yeah, that, that looks all right. So what I'm going to do is I'll just move all of this out the way. Slam Juice Co. sent me a couple of juices. Uh, Juice Monkey. Uh, is that is that Juice Monkey? Juice, Joe's, Jose, Jose, Josie Monkey. They sent out some juices to me. That's also pretty awesome. And White Collar. Now, you guys know the coil company that is called White Collar. They now have a well, two juices, a range of juices, I suppose. Uh, everything's pretty good. You know that you won't see it on this channel if it's not 
extremely good. Uh, and it will, these these will be featured in the in the store pretty soon. We need to do a, a little buy out there. Um, tonight I've got the an RDA for vaping on top of the clutch. Those are old coils. Please forgive me. I don't have time to change it around. But they, they fire up like little bitches. Look at this. Boom. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. And then I've got the MP RDA, hardest for Reese creation, single coil, beautiful little piece. Uh, sitting on top of the baby vert. Thank you very much, Neil McCullum, Mr. McClouds, for sending that out to me. Really enjoy this. Uh, and yeah, it's just got a single coil little wrap in there. Not not anything too exciting. It is BBC. Woo -woo. Got a little away from us there. Uh, oh, how do you guys like this? Thank you. Thank you, Troy. Troy from Outline Branding. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate the build mat, uh, nice, nice and vinyl-y. We're going to actually cover the counters where the coffee station is going to be in the in the office. Uh, before we whip those up, we're going to go through what is happening. I'm actually vaping on the green one. What is this called? Oh, you guys have got funny names now. Sicaro, Sicario, iced. What is that? What does that say? I know. So these white collar boys, I'm going to have to get them on the show again. It will be really cool to chat with them. Uh, th uh, this just came out of the blue. Creamy pineapple. And it's something that I'm vaping on right now. Right, right now. Uh, I'm using, I'm vaping it on the Barrage from Vaping with Thesis. Thank you very much for sending those out also. And I do like me a little bit of pineapple. Uh, this one, on the other hand, El Capo. Fuck's sakes. Welcome to the fuck show. White collar. I like the fact that these guys are doing a 3MG. I know that everyone's kind of changed over to a 2MG, 2, 4, and 6. I want to say I'm the guy that started the 2MG thing because 3MGs were a bit harsh for me uh, five years ago when I started vaping. This El Capo. Custard. It's just called custard. It's not a vanilla custard. It's not a this thing custard. It is fucking the tits. I'm enjoying the hell out of this. I got this on, well, yesterday. Uh, can you see how much is left in there? Yeah, it's about half the bottle. I'm pretty sure Thor's been tapping into this. So thank you very much. Thank you, Romero and uh, Quentin. Thank you very much. I'd love to have you guys on the show sometime. White collar. Awesome stuff. Very, very pleased with that. That's uh, You guys have put a bit of effort into that, I can see, definitely. Next up on the line is Juice Monkey. Uh, I don't know why that's in a 60 mil, but anyway, it's got a 120 mil label on it. Also 3 and 6 MGs. I like the 3 MGs, guys. I like the 3 MGs. Now that I, I vape too much, 3 MG is pretty good. Uh, also, we'll have to have uh, Juice Monkey on... On the lab sometimes. So this one here, Juice Monkey Bubblish, Bubblichi, Bubblechi, is a watermelon, huh? So it's a mouth-watering watermelon bubble gum filled with strawberry syrup. That one, I, I smashed quite a bit of that already as well. Uh, I want to talk about this one last because it's fucking weird. This is also a Juice Monkey Ambrosia. Now, I did tell the guys, I have come across a few few juices called Ambrosia before. Uh, freshly pressed lychee and raspberry juice. I love lychees, so those two juices have been really outstanding for me. The uh, lemon slice, obviously, creamy custard slice topped with a lemon... Lemon? I can't say the last word. Lemon somethings. Very nice, because I love lychees. Then, they send me this little freak show. Juice Monkey Anus. Anus oh fuck, I can't get these names right. Dyslexic as fuck. Aranasia. I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's a sweet orange and mango candy filled with icy center. And I, s I actually called the guy that sent this to me and I was like, dude, orange, really? What the fuck? 
I love watermelon. I love lychee. I love lemon. I didn't know I love orange vape juice. I'm fucking impressed with it. And it's not often that somebody sends you, and I mean, look at it. It's happened, it's happened twice in, in one week. Yesterday, I got two parcels. All of these juices are bangers. The white collar stuff's all banger. And then they go and throw. So same sort of company. Slam Juice Co. <laughs> OG Shake. You know, that's a strawberry cream desserty thing. Grape and berry. I'll be honest, I haven't tried the grape and berry just yet. But this was the one that caught my eye. Cherry Cola. I love Cherry Cola. It's like... Uh, on the finger, it gives you that Dr. Pepper taste. So I'm pretty stoked about that. That's very good. This one, you can see the bottle's dented. We've, we've been going through that. I'm very impressed with the juices that are coming out. Hey? See, this is also two. Uh, it's two or a five. Zero, two, five. Zero, two, five. Um, which I suppose is classified as a budget range. Two milligrams. These are all great. I'm just pretty damn stoked pretty damn stoked let's uh pop into the chats there and see what's happening oh dear my new background just completely ate up the chat oh dear that's a problem oh okay max says sacrenia or whatever they're hitmen for the colombian cartel as i if i remember correctly oh okay Oh, okay, so those are all, oh, lemon slice is not a hitman. Okay. All right, sorry, I don't know what to do with this chat thing. Um, maybe I should minimize this. Take that down to there. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize that that was going to destroy that completely. Let's see here what we can do with the powers of the interweb. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe we can do something like that. Move that screen over to the there and bring the chat out to there. All right. Let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. And slightly more over this way. Yeah, there we go. That works. That'll work. There we go. All right. So we can now kind of see what's going on in the chats. Let's move this camera a little bit. Whoops, wrong way. Hi, ball. There we go. Now the chat is back in play. Busy, busy brother, Julian, Julian, what's happening? Yeah, um, Max, patron, 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 I don't know what's happening there, Neil, um, I need that watermelon. Yeah, the watermelon's good. Like, it's not often that you'll find, I wonder if I'm going to pop back in here, I'm going to swap that around. It's not often that you find a juice company that will send you five, what's this, four, six, seven juices, And all seven juices are extremely good. Like, extremely good. Uh, white collar, well done. Two juices, both of them hit the mark. Fucking delicious. I'm, I'm super impressed. I mean, I've got drawers and boxes full of juices that get sent to me, and not everything's kind of there. So, I'm, I'm suitably impressed, I must say. We will definitely have the boys on the show, and uh, we'll talk about what they're doing. Where they came up with these crazy creations. Let's see if that helps a little bit there. There we go. All right. Uh, I'm going to wick up something. I don't know if you guys want to watch me re-wick. Uh, uh, let me know what you want me to taste again. I have gone through everything, sort of. But I'm going to re-wick right now. And uh, see what, what, what is what. El Marie, yeah, the local boys are bringing the flavor. They seriously are. I've, I've been, <laughs> I've been suitably impressed. Uh, lockdown. All these boys that got bored during lockdown have been creating new crazy juices. 
I don't actually know how long Juice Monkey has been around. I know that currently there isn't anyone in Durban that stocks them. And I would love to be the first person to stock in them. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that Durban needs this juice. I'm pretty sure that Durban needs this juice. It's not often... I'm a bit of a weird one when it comes to juices. So, like, I kind of dismiss a few juices if I don't like the first flavor. I, did, I, did, I didn't try the orange straight away because I was a bit nervous that it wasn't going to be something I would enjoy. And then, lo and behold, it was actually something that I enjoyed. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at who else is. Beer. I like the beer. I like the beer. I have the beer. Shall we drink a beer? Neil McCullen. I think we shall have a beer. Uh, McLeod's. C, C, C. Uh, sorry, guys. I still don't know um, which comments are coming through from YouTube and which. Uh, Neil McLeod says, so sort of a root beer. Um, no, I want to say no. It's not a root beer. It's, it's a fucking Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's not root beer. It's not like real root beer. Uh, I think it's, oh, I wanted to say magnolia flower, but if you drink magnolia flowers, you probably die. Um, yeah, you do. White Magnolia is what the movie was about, killing somebody. Uh, it's not a root beer, but it is. This beer is irritating me. I'm going to chop it like that, straight. That, yeah, that little bit there is not cool. Um, <laughs> all right. While I wait, let's talk about what's happening this week. So there is a chili burger challenge from Rocker Mamas. So if you're in South Africa, you know what Rocker Mamas is. Uh, if you're in UK, Europe, you'd know Five Guys, uh, USA, um, Burger Brothers, something like that. It's a it's a sort of a gourmet burger joint. They they make extreme, they make nachos, they make chicken wings. Uh, yeah, it kind of hooters, kind of hooters. They got like specialized burgers that they only do for a, a limited time. Um, and they do weird stuff and they do cool stuff. And they, I've seen, there's been a few posts around about a hotter than fuck burger, um, Carolina Reaper burger. Carolina Reaper burger, like legit, you gotta sign an indemnity form and all of this stuff before you have it. And I phoned my local Hooter, uh, Hooters, my local Rocker Mamas, and I was like, guys, when is this burger getting to Durban? Because everyone's saying that it's not available in Durban. So this, the, the lady said, no, she'll speak to the manager. She'll find out for me. I'm like, I really need to do a live video eating this burger. Can you uh, just let me know when it is, when it's coming to Durban, and I will be the first person. She phoned me back on Sunday, and she was like, I'll tell you what. We're going to get the ingredients flown in from Johannesburg. And we're going to make you a burger. I'm like, I can't eat a burger by myself. I need two. And I'm like, not a problem. We'll make you two. So, Mr. Hayesworks, <laughs> my brother, I've got an experience that we can do. <laughs> Experiment, experience. We're going we're gonna to go eat extremely hot burgers. Uh, yeah. I, I, hope, I hope it's like tomorrow or something. Maybe Thursday or Friday. But yeah, we're waiting for that to, to, to happen. I'll be extremely impressed to see how hot their burger can be. I, I do enjoy hot food. I don't know if I've ever had a Carolina Reaper, though. To be fair, I don't think I've ever had a Carolina Reaper. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. Local is lacquer. All right, let me just scroll up through the comments here on Facebook. And I know I'm going to get the comments from YouTube. Oh, but you didn't answer my problem in YouTube. Like, yeah. Sorry. YouTube's an auxiliary. Yeah, so uh, uh, just run you back through it. The Carolina Reaper is classified as the hottest chili in the world. It's 1.3 million Scoville units. Um, if you know what Tabasco sauce is, Tabasco sauce, 
If you think Tabasco sauce is hot, it's 3,000 Scoville units. <laughs> oh, I'm in pain already. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun. It's going to be fun. Let me scroll back up here. Um, Shahid Snyder's what's happening, bro? Stand by for technical difficulties. Here we go. Definitely, def definitely take a technical difficulties. Why is that so hard to say? I miss root beer. Max, you've got to get the uh, COF root beer float. It is the fucking best root beer there is. Uh, should be, yeah. Thanks, bro. It's a cherry cola. It's really good. All right, a whole bunch of links here from those boys. Neil, you need that hot, hot. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, 1.3 million global units is it's interestingly hot. Chris Dunlop, what's happening, bro? All right, so I've wicked up the uh, RDA for vaping on the clutch. If anyone remembers what juices they were, just let me know which one you want me to try. Maybe I should go with the root beer again, since as everyone's going root beer on it. I think cherry cola, the cherry cola. Yeah, it's got that like spice of Dr. Pepper. So like A&W doesn't really have that like D Dijon, Dilly, Dilly John flour, whatever it is that makes root beer. It doesn't have that. Uh, Matthew Atten says uh, they taste even better when roasted or grilled. Uh, I suppose you're talking about the Carolina River. Reaper. Peter John Engelbrecht, the Carolina Reaper delivers an average of 1.5 million Scoville units. Dude, I will argue that. Um, a lot of people say a lot of different things. Check the Guinness Book of World Records. I'm sure that it's 1.3 million. Uh, and don't even get started on Pepper X. That's a bullshit. It doesn't exist. Pepper X is supposed to be the hottest in the world. Uh, 3.1 million Scoville units doesn't exist because the guy who designed Pepper X also made the Carolina Reaper. And why wouldn't he take his own title? Why wouldn't he come forward and, and show the world that or send it off for testing to say, I have made a chili hotter than my Guinness World Record chili? I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. All I can tell you is it's going to hurt. <laughs> uh, my mouth is salivating just thinking of it. I'm keen for it, dude. I really like hot food. That's a bit extreme. That's like way more past like hot food. That's insane. But hey, why not? I see Stephen Grease Monkey in the house here. Why is it hard to say because you're South African? What is hard to say? It's simple. Simple. Who's simple? You simple. All right. Uh, Shaw van Rensburg. Lekker, lekker. Lekker all brand, yeah? It's all brand. It'll burn. Watermelon. Oh, no. Watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> Shabir Juicer keeps some TP in the freezer. Yeah, dude. Um, got a few like I don't. Say, I want to say like backup plans, but I I, I know because I've eaten enough hot hot food before. Have a glass of milk before you start, just to line the stomach so you don't fuck yourself up. Um, but that's that's about it. It's about neutralizing the acid. Hot is an is an acidic re reaction. So if you put a calcium with it, it'll They'll null each other sort of inside the stomach. It's not going to help anything for your mouth. Because every time you chew, swallow, salivate, you've got, you're exposed. You're exposed to the raw element. <laughs> Christo, never mind the TP. You're going to keep your ass on the fridge. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Look, look. I'll, I'll put posts. I'm actually going to stream that from my, from my, my food channel. So on Instagram, I've got a food channel called food in the beard. So it's food underscore in underscore the underscore beard of the beard. 
And um, yeah, so if you guys want to go over, join join that. Uh, we're going to live stream on Instagram from there. I'm also going to be live streaming from my personal Facebook page um, because it's not really vape content. So uh, I'm not going to do it on Bearded Viking. We may put a link across to it just just for why not. But yeah, uh, it's the it's a red burger. So they dye the dough. They've got a, a black burger that's like, a, I don't know, something else burger um so they they do these themed burgers like St. Paddy's day they have green burgers uh and yeah so this is the red one this is the the big one i don't even know what it's called i know it's called something something scary yeah shawl yeah have a rock and mama's milkshake first um, yeah, they, fuck it, their milkshakes are insanely good. I love their nachos and their chicken wings as well. Neil, come on, man. With the cream. This is a kid's show. <laughs> Wait, um, uh, so only one person said try the watermelon. This camera is supposed to be sort of... Oh, look at that. Look at me in HD. Wow. Ah, oh, maybe I can just turn that. Oh, see, I'll just turn that camera that way a bit, and that'll be our new position. There we go. There we go. Basil exposition. I want to do the root beer. <laughs> oh, Neil, try the orange. I have. I really do enjoy the orange. I've got it actually. I don't need to wake up anything. I have the orange in this here thingy. And it's, oh, you know what? I had that other juice the other day that was a blood orange. Maybe that's why I'm accustomed to it, but I've got it in, in the, uh, <laughs> the fucking voo poo. What's this thing? Um, RTA, voo poo RTA tank. That's what it's called, RTA tank. Fucking clever on the name, though. Yeah. Just going to bump the wattage up there a little bit. We're still good for juice. Uh, Jan Walters. I'm going to say Johan because it's not John Han. Jan Walters, uh, would you make a Kelly V2 clear top cap? If I send you the sample, had a citrus juice in mine and it cracked the cap. Yeah, so uh, was mentioned on uh, Vaping Barker last night that he would like me to make acrylic tank sections, uh, tank windows for the Cree. But uh, people were concerned about using tank crackers. So citrus juices that crack the tanks. Uh, bearded Viking resin doesn't, it doesn't matter. You, you can put any tank cracker in there. I challenge you to find the juice that cracks our resin uh, because I haven't found it in four years. So yeah, definitely, Jan, uh, what you can do is just email Laura on beardedvikingcustoms at gmail.com and she will, she'll facilitate that for you. I think we actually do have a Kelly V2 mold, um, but we'll, Cross-reference cross that tomorrow. Just make sure we've got the right one that you're looking for. Um, let's also, uh, no desserts. Well, it's this, like a strawberry, you know, what do they call it? OG shake. Sorry about the lighting. OG shake. OG shake, uh, mango candy, filled candy, watermelon, lychee strawberry syrup candy, uh, fresh pressed lychees with raspberry juice, fruit, lemon slice, custard slice. So maybe a dessert, the lemon slice, juice monkey lemon slice. I would say that both of these are kind of desserts, but you see dessert, the custard, custard, a, is custard a dessert or is it a, sure, we need to classify these things, custard. 
Custard would be a pudding, not a dessert, but a pudding is a dessert. Hmm. Oh well, we'll see. Hey, Brett, Mr. Miami himself, what's happening? All right, uh, I've got the orange in here, so the orange is out. Watermelon. I've... That's not the watermelon. That might have been the watermelon, but I think I got confused and I put something else in there. Now it's weird. Um, can I just, guys? Can, can five people just say cherry cola and then I'll try the cherry cola? I've got the bottle open already. Yeah, custard is a is a dessert. So we've got two we've got two custards. Yeah, we've got the custard lemon custard slice, a gorgeous creamy custard slice topped with lemon. Cola, cola, I don't know what the fuck that word is. Cherry cola, cherry cola, cherry cola times five. <laughs> Shabir, thank you so much. That's it, cherry cola. I really, you know, because when you try it in a tank and you try it in a, in a, on a dripper, it sometimes is a little different. It is sometimes a little different. So I'm excited. I'm keen to try it on this. Um, you know what another idea would be? Sending some of this to Big Guy because he's a huge Dr. Pepper fan. All right, let's just let that saturate a little. Uh, I'm going to wick up the MPRDA single coil on top of the baby vert, and um, we'll try another juice in there. I'm feeling in a freaky mood. If you guys uh, want to have a couple of beers with me later, I'll be in the Zoom room. Straight after this, we do the Bearded Viking Patreons only Zoom. Uh, seriously, like it's five dollars a month. It basically just pays for the Zoom. There's generally about six to ten people in there, or oh, sometimes it goes up like twenty. But yeah, generally about six to eight people in there. It's a good, fun place, safe, safe place to chat and talk nonsense. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, so Henny from Bearded Viking Vapes Valcom asked me the other day, if I'm not using my clutch, I'm more than welcome to send it to him. Welcome, Valcom. And uh, oh, VVC acrylic tip and cap. So the, the tip is somewhat removable because, because, because Bearded Viking. All right, now you can see how much juice you've put in and how much you can spare to put in. Da, 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 da. Let's have a look. A little hot. Why is this camera not focusing? Now maybe because I'm leaning back. How's it, Mark Kramer? There's Mr. Kramer in the house. Mr. Hayes works himself. My chili eating buddy. Okay, let's also, I will do the custard slice in the uh, MP on top of the baby vert straight after this. This has an interesting taste to it. I can't put my finger on it, but it's... It's nice. It is just nice. All right. Uh, yeah, I would, dude. I, I would seriously. I don't know if it comes in a sixty more. Oh yes, I think the. Hey, hold on. No, we've gone doubled up on the labels here as well. I think it was just sent in a sixty more for uh, reviewing purposes because. The other bottles are 120. I would I would say just go for it. It's def, it's a cherry cola that I haven't tasted before. Um, a lot of the colas normally have like a lime slice in it or something. This is more closer to 
I would say a root beer, but it's not root beer. It is a cherry cola. It is more cherry cola. And it's got a very nice cola -y taste to it, the spiciness of the cola. So if you're into sodas, soda flavored liquids, I would definitely go for it. I, I, I'm enjoying that. Yeah, I'm very stoked that, <laughs> that all of you chose this one for me to, to vape tonight. <laughs> I might have coerced you slightly, but I was going to do it anyway. All right. Next is, next we'll go with the, oh, mm, oh, that goes so nice with that. Mm, yes. Yeah, I've, actually, I've got a little a little fan blowing over here because uh, last time the screen got all messed up. See, the, the clarity, I'm so stoked I found that one single button on the camera settings that I hadn't been changing. And now we have a much clearer picture. Um, if you guys have any international people you would like to, to be featured or to be a guest on the channel, please let me know because I'm running out of ideas. I don't mind inviting people on back on that have been here before, but I would think that you would want something new, some fresh meat. Let me know in the comment sections. Um, if you're in contact with somebody that's uh, an international and you would like to see them on the show, um, yeah, pop them my details. If I don't have them, I'll, I'll find out. Dude, I've been thinking about asking Jay forever. Um, he's a weird character though, not, not weird in a bad way, but I, I think he wouldn't do it. He'd be like, no, he's got his channel and he's fine. Um, did you see his video about his car tire, the guys damaging his car tire? My God, I can, like, he gets so angry, but I love it. <laughs> I really do love it. Oh, Mr. Mikey vapes. Yeah. Oh, Matt, SMM, yes. Yeah, Matt will come on. Uh, uh, when else did I speak to Mark? Um, yeah. Mark would come on. Mark would come on. Jay Hayes, uh, he would need some convincing, I think. <laughs> oh, Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lewis Litt. Yeah, let's also, yeah, he, he does. He's he's very free with his. <laughs> yeah, he lets everyone know exactly how he's feeling. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a good place to be where you can just tell people exactly the way it is. Like you give no fucks about anyone. Um, but he is a caring person. He really is a nice guy, I think. Uh, he's, it's just on camera. He, he's a, he vents on camera. The vaping bogan, yeah, we, you know, with Sam, it's so, with vaping bogan, it's so difficult because uh, the time zones, last time we had him on the show was a couple of months back, uh, oh, COVID, and a, a couple of months and a year ago, uh, Sam, Sam will come on, but we have to have him on at like 10 or 11 a.m. a.m. in the morning, uh, and then that's still like midnight for him. So it's a bit difficult with Sam. I, I won't lie. Also, I've got this. There's a bunch. All Day Vapes. Uh, All Day Dave. Uh, Squidly Triss. Uh, Lesion. Guys that I'm in communications with all the time. And we just can't find the right time. Unless we do like a Sunday session. But then they're, they're going to be at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And it's going to be like 10 a.m. for us on a Sunday. So, yeah, it's it's difficult. It's really, really difficult. America, easy, because like Eric was on last week, he, it was, it was 12 o'clock, it was midday for him, uh, and it was 8 o'clock for us at night, so that, that's fine. Uh, Europe and stuff like that, vaping Barker, an hour difference, that's cool. This is, I've heard this, uh, somebody ask about the indoor smokers before, um, 
I don't know them. I, I like everyone else. I kind of know. I don't know Jay Hayes personally. I, I mean, I don't have his number in my phone. Everyone else, I do. Uh, indoor smokers, I don't know them. Matthew says it's currently three forty, uh, one forty-five. So just after lunchtime uh, in America right now. So yeah. So that's you see one o'clock. Depending where they are, if they are east coast or west coast, but it's between it, it ranges between like ten a.m. and one o'clock, uh, two two o'clock, for eight o'clock in South Africa, and the, the the American guys don't mind that at all. They've they've been pretty cool about coming on the show. Uh, hey guys, sorry I'm late. Where, who said that? Oh my God, Alexa, play this Espirito Zito. Dyslexic tonight. Really dyslexic. I'm taking my tablets. Hey Melinda, how you doing? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Grim Green. Um yeah, Grim's been on before. Uh he definitely wouldn't mind coming on again. I should probably be checking the uh, YouTube chats. Uh, the YouTube comments, should I say. Let me see if I can open up my channel without making all the music sound off at once. Okay, push button, open quickly and push mute, push mute, push, push mute. Ah, uh, damn it, there we go. Uh, let's see what's happening there. Oh, Max in the YouTubes, let's just pop up there quickly. Who's in the YouTube land? Matthew's in it, Neil's in it, Max is in it. Um, see, that's why I don't bother too much with YouTube. The channel's still so small there, but I hope that these live videos will gain a bit of interest on the, the YouTube channel. And all at once, all at once, the admins start posting the link to the YouTube channel. Uh, Frank Neil says, Grim Green. Uh, Frank, we did have... Nick on here a couple months ago. Go back and check in the videos. Uh, but it's a cool idea to have him on again. Yeah, I love chatting with him. Um, nothing is happening here in the tube. Mark Todd. Sure. Mark Todd. That's a cool one. Neil, uh, Frank Neil. I met you through Batman. Oh, okay. What's up? Yeah, Mark Todd's a good idea. I think I, if I got Mark Todd on here, I've got a list of things that everyone's been saying the same. Yeah, Mark Todd is on the list. He's number four. Uh, but that's to send out samples. But when they receive their samples, then I'll get them on the show. Uh, Mark Fagan as well. Uh, I would love to have Tony B on. Uh, Vapor Chronicles would be great. Kent from Twisted Messes. Yeah. Stan, oh, Stan owes me a video. Stan, Tenacious TX Vapes. Uh, yeah, got to get him on uh, Dash Vapes, maybe. Heavy Metal Vapor. Uh, who else? Who else? Yeah, Suck My Mud. Yeah, those are everyone I'm supposed to be sending samples to. Ah, oh, that list's long. Fuck. But anyway, we keep trying. Okay, everyone kind of agrees with Mark Todd. I'm sure we can make that. Tony, yeah. Neil, Tony B would be sick. <laughs> and I'll show him all my cool new Vupu stuff. <laughs> Ruben for you, what's happening, dude? Melinda, get the bogan on. Yeah, it's difficult. It's just difficult. Oh, Scholf and Rainsburg, really, bro? Are you fucking kidding me? The ghost. In in reviewer land, we call him the ghost. Just doesn't exist. He's just... Can you imagine getting rip trippers on you? Ha! I don't even know what I'd say to him because like all the reviewers... You can talk to them about their channel and 
or if they've made a device or a juice or so you can talk about that. What are you going to talk to Rip about? Like, I'll just talk about his fucking sexy cocks. <laughs> or like, if, he can just give us pointers on how to make YouTube videos because that guy's got some editing skills of note. Guys, go and fucking, every juice I've showed you tonight, go buy it. Actually, just wait. I'll get them in here into my store and then you buy it from me. That'll be better. It's cherry cola. I'm really digging it. It's like, I don't know if you guys remember that uh, Heisenberg juice, the blue, the blue juice. How, like, it was a weird thing. Like people, some people hated it. Some people loved it. I was a person that loved it. Like I would, fuck, I would really like to get a couple of original bottles. Uh, love the Heisenberg. Not a flavor I would ever go for in my life. I just happened to vape it because I wanted a blue juice in my tank at the time. It was like for a, for a little photo shoot I was doing and I just left it in and I kind of vaped it and then I vaped it and then I vaped it and then I went through three bottles and four bottles and I loved it. Actually, I need to get another bottle. But yeah, this, this cherry cola is definitely going to be one of those. I've had a few cherry colas from South Africa before and this one is, I don't want to say the best, but I'm seriously enjoying it. Slam Juice Co. Local product. I like the little South African flag on there. That's cool, man. That's really cool. Really cool. Local is fucking lacquer. 2MG 7030. Ingredients, cautions, not suitable for women or children or breastfeeding. Oh, that's just nicotine, guys. Come on, fuck's sakes. Uh, use your directions. Keep out of reach of children and pets. Shake before use. Yeah, just the standard logos on that uh, labeling. Um, a product of, this is Juice Monkey. They've got Vape Local. Oh, that's such a cool logo. Look at that. Vape Local. Uh, Juice Monkey, please send that to me. Because as you guys might know, uh, I do review other juices, but I don't stock them in my store. I only stock South African made juices in my store. And that's just something I've got to stick to. Uh, local is lacquer. Uh, Juice Monkey, if you're watching, you watch this video sometime, please, I want that I want that logo. Vape Local. I think that's really cool. Really, really cool. What's this shit? Batch numbers. 06. Batch 006. BB. Best before. <laughs> 2000. The 9th. August. September. A year. Dude, there's no fucking way this thing will last a year. I guess eaten up too quick. Yeah, Twisted 420. That's another one that I need to talk to. Um, oh, fuck. Okay, I'm going to ask admins. Uh, give me a list of uh, all the names that were mentioned there, please. Neil, if you can do that, dude. Just write them down somewhere. I don't have time to do it now. Vaping with Twisted 420. For an awesome blue color juice, try out that blue stuff. Nathan Van Royen. That blue stuff. Um, yeah, dude. If it's locally made, let me know who who, um, who makes it and I'll, I'll get some. Uh, let's also, when is Vape Expo? Dude, uh, Expo, okay. Uh, VapeCon South Africa, probably... Probably August next year to 21. Uh, Vape Expo Birmingham. They've cancelled May, so it would probably be what's it, November, October next year. So like it's still another year away. Uh, yeah, the world's gone to shit with the expos and stuff like that. Uh, if you if you own <laughs> if you own a, a big uh, exhibition hall, you're fucked. You're fucked. Uh, Brett says, make more of that gumball juice I got. Oh, the, uh, Brett, Brett, Brett's the one that won the, uh, the auction for the very last, not final, but the very last bottle of Freya to be in existence. Um, yeah, the gumball, the, the blue balls, 
uh, Freya. So it's from the, the, the Rangers Norse gods. Obviously, Bearded Viking makes Norse gods juice. And uh, yeah, Freya, that was that was a winner juice. So I need to I need to actually spend time getting it up and going. Uh, it's just time. It's just time. It's ridiculous how time is such a big problem. Yo, I hate the COVID thing. Yeah, we, dude. Let's also we we all fucking hate it, dude. It's um, we're seeing a backlash now in the business where. We had this cool stream of international orders going, like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 orders a month going out to the internationals. And when people were getting their products, they were like showing off to their mates and their mates were then ordering or they were putting posts on Facebook or wherever it was, Instagram. And then we would get runoff orders from that. But because we haven't, haven't really had that sort of traffic in the last three or four months, uh, almost as if this this whole social media thing has just come, kind of collapsed on us. That's why I've got a list on the whiteboard here full of vape reviewers that I just need to resend stuff to to get people talking about it, to get people buying, and then the the little cycle starts again. But yeah, it's 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 been rough. Eh? It's been fucking rough, and it's still bloody rough. Uh, thank you, Neil. Five minute warning there. So we're gonna oh. There's also, you wanted the Juice Monkey Lemon Slice. Fuck, it's delicious. All right, let's smash that on top of this here. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Oh, my camera was a bit low. Whoopsie. Oh, damn, it's good. I'm so impressed. South Africa, you're fucking champions. This, these, all of these juices on this table tonight will definitely be stopped by me. So if you're an international and you're looking for South African juices, well, <laughs> you're already in the right place. Uh, go give our, in, our new Instagram channels uh, a little follow there, if you don't mind. Um, bearded Viking, un, bearded underscore Viking. Ah, come on, admins, put it in the chat. Yeah, so um, Thor has just started an Instagram channel. He manages and runs that for the vape store separately in case he advertises something and then Instagram or Facebook gets a bit shitty. There is an, there's a Facebook page as well for Bearded Viking Vapes HQ uh, because we've got another store, Bearded Viking Vapes FS, which stands for Free State. HQ stands for Headquarters. Um, yeah, so this, this, it's the... Basically, the second store that's up and running now. And that's a very good mate of mine, Henny, that owns, operates, manages, and runs the FS version in Valcom. Oh, that's different. I don't know if it's the coil in here, uh, because it's like a little four-wrap single coil. Um, compared to a dual coil in an RDA. I'm going to have to try this juice on something else. I had it in a tank. I enjoyed it in a tank. Now I get more of a biscuity note. And I'm not really good with the tasting things. I can just tell you what's, re like, what's really fucking good. Everything else is just like, oh, I kind of taste this and I kind of taste that. And like, so I don't really do juice reviews. But because I got such good juices, that's why I thought today I would just... Just talk about juices. It's not often that I'm as surprised as I have been with all of the juices received this week. Yeah, a lot less, lot less on the line, like that, that, uh, what's that? Not cheesecake, lamb slice, lamb slice. So I get the biscuits. When I had it in the RTA, I got more of the lime taste, but it's not like the green lime, it's the yellow lime. Not lemon, but ripe lime. So lime zest. If you know what I'm talking about, lime zest. I get the lime zest um, flavor out of it. What's that fucking thing with the lime and then the cream on the top? It's lime slice. Lime slice? Is that what it's called? Yeah, that, oh, there we go. 
There, the lime's coming in now. Third, fourth drag. Sorry, this camera's just misbehaving. Yeah, that I'm going to have to try that. I, I think it's going to be much better in a dual coil. I'll slap it into the Asgard Mini tomorrow uh, with fresh wicks. I think the coils are still pretty good in this one. This one's just a bit... It's been used. I'm sure those coils are sort of new. Uh, might even put a new set of coils in it, do a little build video for it. Why not? Cool. Uh, I've got my one minute warning. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, thank you for being here. Uh, and you occasional others. Thank you very much. It's uh, It's been special. It's been cool. I feel very relaxed and uh, wish you all the best. Hope the rain doesn't catch all of you out in Durban. Hope it rains in Johannesburg for you guys. I will see you on the other side. Uh, Berserkers, I'll see you in Valhalla. Uh, admins, just pop up the uh, what's that thing? The Patreon page there quickly if anyone else wants to join in in Valhalla, our Patreon only Zoom. That's uh, we'll, that'll carry on for another hour or two. Uh, we 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 just talk shit, we vape, we wick, we re wick, and uh, sometimes we play cards. I always win though. <laughs> Unless I'm playing against other people. Cheers. Thank you. Scholf and Rensburg, Shot Brew. Neil, thank you. Les Sosa, I wear my brew. Thank you. Ahmed Sidat, thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you for the congratulations on the store. I appreciate you. Uh, Charles Johnson, have a great day. Thank you very much. 